Hello and welcome to another CloudWords video. My name is Mauricio and today we'll be comparing Sync.com versus iStrive. If you've been following our channel, you know by now that Sync.com is our favorite cloud storage service, but iStrive is a pretty new service that comes with some pretty big promises. So how do the two compare? Stick around to find out. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new video. So now let's just jump right in, shall we? Okay, so let's start this off basically with a very quick intro to what both services are. Sync.com is a veteran in the cloud storage space that's focused on the security and privacy of its users. Over the years, it's added features that allow you to collaborate securely, including integration with Microsoft Office. On the other hand, iStrive is relatively new to the cloud storage scene, like Sync.com, that's also dedicated to security and privacy, though it handles things much differently in that regard. It's also a bit bare bones when it comes to features, but obviously that's mostly due to how young the service is. However, it comes with a better free plan, as well as lifetime storage offers to make up for it. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at what both of these services offer. All right, I'll be honest here. There is really no comparison here when it comes to features. Sync.com is a more mature service and it really shows. First off, it's much better for collaboration. It integrates with Microsoft Office and lets you create, edit, and collaborate on Word, PowerPoint, and Excel documents. It has probably the most extensive set of sharing features we've seen, letting you set passwords and expiration dates for sharing links, as well as download limits and restrictions. You can also send upload links to folders that let others contribute and add files to that folder. That's a crucial feature when you're working with freelancers like CloudWords does, and you don't want to give them access to your entire cloud storage account. But iStrive is not without its merits. When it comes to syncing files, iStrive just does it better. While sync.com uses the standard sync folder model, iStrive uses a so-called virtual drive. It basically attaches an extra drive to your computer, kind of like a local disk C, but it uses your cloud storage instead. So in effect, iStrive lets you expand your computer storage using the cloud. Not only that, but the sync folder model that sync.com uses tends to take up extra space because you can get duplicates of files that are elsewhere in your computer. Another advantage that iStrive has is that it's just so damn fast. It's the fastest cloud storage service we've tested while sync.com is one of the slowest. If speed is important for you, say you need to sync a lot of large files every day, then iStrive might be a better choice for you. Both services let you keep previous versions of files as well as deleted files. If you have a two terabyte plan, sync.com keeps old and deleted versions of files for 180 days. Or if you have a six terabyte plan, you get 360 day versioning. iStrive normally has unlimited versioning and deleted file retention, but this might change in future according to our communication with the support team. So stay tuned on that. I mentioned earlier that both of these services are very dedicated to security and privacy, so both of them perform well here. That said, Sync.com again beats iStrive due to one crucial difference in how it implements zero-knowledge encryption. But before I get to what that difference is, let me explain what zero-knowledge encryption means and why it's so important for your privacy. Most cloud storage services encrypt your files to make them inaccessible to outsiders. And a crucial part of that is what's called an encryption key. It's basically the key that unlocks your files and allows them to be accessed. Normally, the cloud storage provider holds the encryption key. With zero knowledge encryption, you're the sole holder of that key. This means that no one else can access your files, including the cloud provider itself. Sync.com covers your entire storage with zero knowledge encryption. So every file you have on there is secured with the best possible protection. iStrive, on the other hand, only gives you one zero knowledge folder. If you want to protect your sense of documents, you need to make sure they're in this folder, basically. Now let's talk about pricing. This one area basically where iStrive potentially beats sync.com. Let's start with a free plan. 
iStrive comes out on top here offering 10 gigabytes of cloud storage for free compared to sync.com's five gigabyte plan. Both services lock a few of their features for free users. For example, iStrive locks the zero knowledge folder and sync.com makes most of its sharing and collaboration features unavailable for free users, though zero knowledge is still included. There is a bit more nuance when it comes to paid plans though iStrive offers a discount for yearly subscriptions, but because sync.com only lets you pay annually, I'll be talking about prices in terms of yearly plans here. iStrive has three plans on offer. The 150 gigabytes plan comes in at around $1.70, and is only available as an annual subscription. The one terabyte plan will cost you around $4.20 per month and the five terabyte plan will set you back $15 per month. Sync.com only has two plans in a two terabyte and six terabyte capacity. Its two terabyte plan costs $8 per month and the six terabyte plan is one with $20 per month. Sync.com also has a business version that gives you unlimited storage for $15 per month per user. And it has a minimum of two users though. So if you want unlimited storage, you have to pay $30 or split it with a friend or family member since you'll have two users anyway. But iStrive has an ace up its sleeve in the form of lifetime plans. These let you, let you basically pay a lump sum for permanent access to your storage with no recurring fees. iStrive has three lifetime plans available. You can get 150 gigabytes for $99, one terabyte for 200 29 or five terabyte for 599 when you compare the monthly plans the lifetime subscriptions break even in about four years and after that your storage is basically free so which service has the better pricing if you look at cost per terabyte they're about even with iStrive having a better free plan and lifetime options but there's also value to consider sync.com brings more to the table than iStrive does and this might swing things in sync.com's favor then again if you just need free storage iStrive is the better pick. The answer you've all been waiting for, who is the winner in our sync.com versus iStrive showdown? Well, it's obviously sync.com. It's just basically does almost everything better than iStrive, but that's not the whole story. iStrive has a great cloud storage service in its own right. It has a better free plan, it's faster, saves space, and honestly looks much more modern than sync.com. Plus, its lifetime plans can help you save a ton of cash. So it's basically up to you to decide what's more important to you. That's basically it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please like the video cause it really helps keep our channel afloat. If you wanna see more cloud storage content, you can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our uploads. We also do detailed written reviews on the CloudWords website and you'll find the written version of this article in the description box below, along with a detailed review of sync.com and of course, iStrive. Feel free to drop us a comment below. Our team always reads your comments and we really appreciate any feedback you have for us. So hopefully I can see you in my next video. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.